Hello there. Um, you see my hair? Look. <clears throat> we have to brush our hair daily, right? Because what happens? We get tangles. And it's not smooth and it's all messed up, right? So we have to brush our hair daily. Well, in the same way, we should pray daily. When we don't pray daily, what happens in our soul is that we go and get all messed up, all tangled up. And the thoughts and our emotions and um, look a funk like the hair, all messed up. We don't brush it. That's how our soul becomes. I know, because I've been drifting from prayer lately but i um am aware of what's happening and um choosing to fight this distance that's trying to take place between me and god because um i know how important prayer is um and i don't want to um drift away from the lord because you see what happens when we don't pray and we start to go to other people for um everything instead of going to him first is that we become we, we're not so on fire. We're not on fire for the Lord as much. We're not, um, we become more fleshly, I think, easily angered and, um, confused, um, just not full of the life that the Lord wants to give us, that peace, that joy the wisdom um, that we get when we seek him in prayer first. Oh my gosh, my little Bella is so cute. Oh, I love you so much. She's so cute. Look, she's so licking my fingers. She's <laughs> so sweet. She thinks I'm a cat. Um, you know, I've realized that, um, you know, sometimes it feels like I don't have anything to say to the Lord. Like, I don't know what to say, you know, but I realize when I just decide to go into prayer that things do come up. And there actually is more stuff inside that God wants to hear me talk to him about and ask him about than I realize at the moment. So just want to encourage you today. There's a scripture in Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 and it says, pray without ceasing. You know, when, when we talk to God about things, if, even if you feel like there's nothing to talk to him about, just go into prayer. Just be still. Know that he's God and, and just try to think about your day and things that happen. And thank him for things. And, and then, you know, and maybe some stuff will come up to your memory that you could talk to him about. But even if you don't say anything, just spending that alone time with him is really good, too. Um, and try to do it regularly. Try to do it the first thing in the morning, last thing at night, and in in between the day two. Um, prayer life is our lifeline to power. I mean, <clears throat> you may not feel it, you may not recognize it, um, but. When you're dialoguing with the Lord, when you're speaking to him, even though you may not always hear back from him and it may not feel like he hears you, he does. 
And when you're doing that, you are, God is like detangling your hair. Okay, but he's not detangling your actual, okay, obviously. So he's detangling your soul. You're, and he's doing something in the spirit with you that is so healing and powerful. And it's more powerful than any man can do for you. It's more powerful than meds can do for you. It's more powerful than any therapist can do for you. There's something that, that happens that's invisible to the eye and it may be even invisible to your senses at the moment. But there is a filling of the Holy Spirit that's happening when you commit yourself regularly to talk to the Lord. To spend that alone time with him. And and reading the word too. Reading the word like it may not feel like it. <clears throat> but there's some powerful divine exchange taking place. That he's, he's filling you with himself. And he gives you power and I mean joy. Like he gives you life in your spirit in your soul he fills you with his presence you draw close to him and he'll draw close to you and um you'll just be more you know powerful and effective in the kingdom of god for the lord's purposes and for the saving of many souls when you have a strong prayer life with god when you commit yourself to that and to daily bible reading even if it's just a chapter a day and you'll do a lot better your mood will be better you will have joy you will have peace um so yeah i just wanted to encourage you if you don't or if it's beginning to weaken like mine lately um be aware that we have an adversary the devil and he wants to kill, steal, and destroy. And he'll put a bunch of thoughts in your mind to try to get you to not pray. Um, you know, and we have to fight our flesh. Our flesh doesn't want to pray, man. We're selfish. And we just want to go and do things that are um, more endorphin releasing, like arts and crafts. Or, you know, or maybe it's not that for you. For me, it is because... Um, I don't have, um, my daughter living with me, so I don't have to be, I'm not like, um, I don't have her to take care of and my husband and I don't work a lot. And so for me, it's like arts and crafts, but maybe for you, it's like, you know, like it's like, you know, okay, you got your kids, you know, you want to go take care of your kids, which is so admirable and good and good do that but you gotta put the lord as precedence over any everyone and everything and you'll do a lot better this is a very dark world to live in and we are um there's a lot of de evil that takes place in every day there's a lot of warfare that comes against us as followers of Christ. If you're truly following him and going against the grain of this world. And all the, all the evil and the lies and everything. And you're following the Lord on that narrow path. You're, you're up against some heavy duty stuff. So you need that strength from the Lord. He gives us strength. And he gives us power. And he gives us joy and peace and he helps us with different emotional issues, different psychological, just questions, all these diff different things inside of us. And he, if you just commit yourself and push through in prayer and, and read the Bible daily, even if it's only a chapter a day, 
I'm telling you, it'll make a huge difference. You'll notice so much difference. And I think I'm going into a cycle where I keep saying the same thing. So I'm going to end this video now. And I hope you have a blessed day. And this was edifying to you. And I want to encourage you to share it with other people. If it was a blessing to you, it could be a blessing to them. And help them in their walk too. And we should not just think about ourselves. But we should be helping other people. So if this video, if you feel like I'm speaking truth, please share it so others can hear it and be edified in their walk too. Thank you. Bye-bye.